Well, mostly for us as a civil protection, uh, we deal with uh, delegated people sometimes, and that could be a problem if you don't have the available of that resource, of water resource. So if you think about uh, long or long-term emergencies like an earthquake, and you have to dislocate a lot of people to another place, that's a problem, the availability of water. The land use change with increased urbanization and consequently increase of soil impervasiveness has impacts in groundwater availability. Irrigation on agriculture on large projects like those I'm connected to depend upon water stored in big reservoirs. In the past two decades, the demand for stored water to supply urban populations has become a major concern as in many years rainfall has been barely enough to meet all the demand from urban, rural and industrial needs. Epal is a very ancient company and uh, its systems have uh, proven to be quite resilient, quite climate resilient because uh, our main source is, source is located on a reservoir. It has no pollution, no problem, no quality problems. Um, and the other source in Tegus River um, sometimes uh, in the past uh, quality, water quality problems uh, already occurred, but uh, the company um, uh, dealt uh, with them. Given the fact that my work is uh, land planning at regional level, I have to comply with law that is related with climate change's risks. Well, we start to seeing different types of phenomena. We can call it extreme phenomena, such as wildfires, sometimes can be more aggressive, uh, and even so, some floods. We have now a new flood episode in terms of the return period of that floods. They're starting to be more uh, slower or less long so which means that we have almost every year some type of floods phenomena, especially in urban areas. Uh, in our main sources, uh, main source which is in Castel do Bode the Reservoir, uh, we have no, no problems uh, at all uh, with climate change uh, implications. In the other source, uh, which is in uh, Tegus River, uh, sometimes uh, problems uh, can, could occur, can occur uh, during uh, summer uh, which, uh, with low flows, uh, but the system is prepared to deal with it. Uh, irregular rainfall and the extreme weather conditions have been quite frequent in recent years uh, with serious consequences to crops and often with disastrous economic results. For that reason, the farmers in general have developed significant awareness uh, to climate changes and its harmful impacts in their livelihood. They are now aware that the change and adaptation has to take place sooner than later. At Tepal we take these risks very seriously. Uh, even though the, the, actual, the current vulnerability is not very high for the problems with uh, water quality in, in uh, Tegos, we have already planned a 30 million uh, euros refurbishment of the water treatment plant uh, which is installed uh, there. For the uh, future vulner vulnerabilities, um, we think that some work will have to be done uh, in the consumer side, uh, raising awareness about water shortage and, uh, and uh, this kind of, of, of problems. In my opinion, in the future, uh, both scientific and administration agencies must combine their efforts and work with the farmers in order to come up with technical solutions and teach farmers new skills and make available the tools and the economic incentives to allow them to obtain equivalent revenue under different climate conditions. I think a priority would be that land planning takes into consideration climate changes risks, not allowing new construction in risk areas. Well, I think you have two types of, uh, or two directions. One regarding the population, uh, population to be more informed, the people, uh, more informed about uh, mitigations measures, uh, auto protection measures to floods specific in terms of urban areas and of course another type or another direction is to improve um, the, the territory to receive the water in terms of measures of uh, floods uh, management and floods prevention. Mm -hmm.